Okay, so page 21, if you're with us here. So let's imagine for a second we don't know what law we're supposed to use. So you either try to look for a pair. If you cannot find it, you know it's cosine law, right? And this one in particular, you know all three sides. So this is side, side, side. There's no question about it. This one is probably the easiest to identify cosine law is what I need. Okay, listen carefully. I, may, I probably will, will ask you to solve for a particular angle. Very, like, I've never seen it on a provincial exam where they ask you to solve a triangle. I've never seen that. They're always very specific, like solve for this, solve for that. And it may take you more than just one step, okay? That, that's something you need to remember. It may take you more than just one step. So, in this case, you have a choice of which angle you wanna solve for. I'm gonna solve for the largest angle, which is across the longest side, right? Think about it. The longer this side were to become, the bigger the angle across from it would get. Okay? So um, I'm going to solve for angle. I choose to solve for the largest angle. Okay. <clears throat> Um, so angle, so I would go cosine of P, and I would choose to put this side over here. That's the most important one. Okay, if you get that right, you're already halfway there. And then the other two are going to fill up the remaining spots. Okay? I think, uh, I have a feeling most of you did this already, but that's okay. Just see it as a review before the AC, right? Oops, minus, oh, I forgot something, right? You see it? I forgot to square, so you gotta make sure that is there, okay? Oop, there's a negative. All decimals, okay, write down all decimals. If there's four, you write down four decimals. Two times 21.6 times 16.9, that's 730. That's another good sign. This number should always be bigger than the top number because uh, you should get something that starts with a zero, okay? So now you have to be careful how you enter this. So I, I can actually go minus 221.27 divided by 730.08. Actually, remember walking around and seeing a lot of the, uh, the, like a lot of you had this value with the negative. So we know that this angle is going to be greater than 90, correct? So here we go. P is cosine inverse of this. I can leave this on my calculator. I just go shift or second, whatever you need to do. Don't go sine, right? We're in cosine territory. So it's 107.64. And I'll just leave it there because that... I know I asked you to solve a triangle. <clears throat> the key is up. So you just, uh, this is just a review to solve uh, for an angle using cosine law. That's the only thing you can do here because you already know all three sides. Okay, so that's that. Let's do uh, page 22. We'll do triangle fun. Okay. So, um, when you're supposed to sketch, honestly, just, I don't care. I, I'm not going to give you marks for how pretty it is. I just want the letters where they belong. So, F, U, N. Angle F is 42 degrees. N is 36. Oh, I've got two angles. I, I bet you can find a third one. And U is side U, right? Lowercase means side length. You can tell by the inches across. So that, that goes right here. Okay, so that's, that would, I would probably give you a mark on a test just for sketching and putting it in the right place. What law do I have to start? There's only one that works. It's not side, side, side. Is it SAS? No, it's not that. Okay, so. Right, it's probably sine law, but I don't have a pair yet because these two angles are not across the side. Find the third one. Find the third one, exactly. You've got two angles, you can easily find the third one. So 
Uh, you just go 180. I would appreciate you doing this just even for yourself when you go back in your notes and you're reviewing. I hope that when you uh, study for the exam that part of the studying is flipping through your notes. I really do. Okay. So this is important. Once you've got the 102, you can insert that here. Okay. So this angle is now known to us. You've got a pair. And so you, you're able to start it off with sine law. So sine of 102 over 37.42 inches. And um, it says solve the triangle. Okay, so it doesn't matter what, which of these two you pick, but just be careful that if I ask you for side N, okay, if I were to ask you for side FU, or N, it's better. N is better. Uh, you would have to use sine of 36, right? That's what you would put here. So I'm just going to go with sine of 36 in this case, which solves for N. Okay? I should relabel this triangle. It didn't sound right. It didn't sound right. Okay. Uh, 37.42. Uh, 36 right so you multiply these two that's important and then you divide by that last one and so side n and again if uh, you do this correctly 22.49 and we are in inches finding side Okay, what, copy this down. This is 22.49 here, right? It goes right there. I'm going to use a red pen to fill it in just to let us know that I found that. Question real quick here. Could you perhaps use, like, if you think about it, this is side, angle, side, right? You know two sides and the angle in between. You could use cosine law to solve now for this one if you wanted to. You do have a pair, so technically you just continue with sine law and you'll get there. But if you wanted to figure out side F, I'm just going to do that today with you. You should get the same answer or very close, okay? How did it go again? F squared. Morning. If you want to know this side, right, you gotta, you're going to use these two here. So it would be 22.49 squared plus 37.42 squared, using cosine law here, but it's the SAS scenario. Minus 2 times 22.49. Oh boy, this is going to be tight. Cosine of 42. Let me see here. I'm going to work my magic there. Some of you use sine law, that's fine. It's, it's not a problem at all. Okay, so F will be square root of this whole thing. I don't know if my key, I might have done that, this um, on the key. Cosine of 42, yeah. 655.23. Keeps going. <clears throat> Take the square root of that. That's 25. Point, what do you do here? 5, 9? No, because the 7 bumps that to a 10, which bumps this to a 6. You keep going that ripple effect till you get a number that isn't 9, right? So it would be 60 actually rounded um, correctly here in this case. Oops. So, uh, any, is this different if you use sine law? Slightly different or the same? The same? Yeah. Sometimes it's off by 0 0.01, and that's okay. You don't lose marks. Because uh, if you switch from sine law to cosine law, sometimes there's a bit of a rounding uh, issue there. 
but you don't get uh, any marks taken off. Okay. All right. So this is review sine law, cosine law, real quick. Um, page twenty-one and twenty-two. 